This video is about pipi kaula, which is a beef dish here in Hawaii. It's semi-dried salted beef, which can be prepared in a number of ways, and it literally translates to beef rope. People sometimes say it's the Hawaiian beef jerky, and even though it is similar, it's not as dry. It's only semi-dried as beef jerky, as you can see right here. And actually the flavor and the texture is more reminiscent of pastrami, or like a roast beef, than jerky. The main cuts to use are either flank steak or bone-in short rib, like you see here. No matter how you prepare it, the pipicala is going to be partially dried. You can do it either in the oven at a low temperature, you can use a smokehouse like we are here, or back in the old days the paniolos would just dry them in the sun, the strips of beef. So if you use the flank steak, um, that's the type where it is sliced very thin like you saw earlier in the video and if you use the bone in short ribs like we are here um, then they're going to be partially dried and then uh, either pan fried on the grill and then they're served hot okay so this is a clip from a video we made on huli huli chicken can you perfect a homemade recipe and we had a section on kiave wood, which is a tropical mesquite that grows here in Hawaii all along the dry side of every island. It was introduced in the 1800s and it gives that signature flavor. So that's what we are using in our smoked meat uh, harvested from the shore. One other quick trailer here. If you like the Pipicala video, this is one we did on Kalua pig. We made uh, dug an emu underground oven and roasted a pig in it to make Kalua. With the smokehouse done, let's talk about the marinade. <laughs> This is the classic marinade in Hawaii. It's a variation on teriyaki sauce. So it's based on equal parts of shoyu, soy sauce, and brown sugar, or some kind of sugar. Um, and then the aromatics are garlic, fresh ginger root, and Hawaiian chili peppers. As long as you've got your ratio correct of one to one, you can put your aromatics in however you like them. And then you bag them up with the marinade and yeast. So like I said, we dried our uh, bone-in short ribs in the smokehouse with kiave wood, and then we finished them on the grill. They were sizzling, juicy, delicious. Um, so it worked out really great. <laughs> Up in the corner will take you to our full video on making a smokehouse and making smoked meat. The classic way to prepare smoked meat is in the fry pan with onions and oyster sauce. Garnish with scallions and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and let us know what you think of the video. Aloha!